guys, this is Boss Coder. This is your 20th uh, C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover recursion, actual recursion, not fake recursion like I did in the last one. Um, I wanted to have uploaded this one by now and recorded it, but the other day when I was doing my first trigonometry tutorial, I wanted to actually do two or three of those and then two or three of these, but my mother came home early and she makes a lot of noise so that would have been that actually interrupted my recording and I got a rant for a second I just came back from the dentist um, first thing whenever they clean my teeth with those sharp pointy objects feels like they're butchering my teeth my gums and not actually cleaning my teeth and I can actually feel my heart beat in my mouth it's really annoying and then second thing is on my way home I heard a radio commercial for Kabbalah, or Kabbalah, as some people say, and at the end they said, if you want more information, go to Kabbalah.com. Well, I'm pretty sure most people don't actually know what Kabbalah is. Actually, I only know what it is because it was in a book that I had to read in 8th grade called Night by Elie Wiesel, and it talked about it in there, but most people probably don't know how to spell it, so how are you supposed to go to Kabbalah.com if you don't even know how to spell Kabbalah? I mean, I guess you could Google it and then find it that way, but still, it seems kind of pointless to me. It's one of those weird, like, things where it's like an ad for an ga online game and it says you have to have internet access to play it, but obviously if you are looking at the ad, you have internet access. Like, I don't know. Anyways, <coughs> and then I come home and I can't find my stinking um, lesson plan for my tutorials and I spent about 15 minutes looking for that, so my morning has been pretty eventful already, and it's only 11.15. So, uh, let's get started. First thing is, like I said, recursion is the process by which a method calls itself. Now, last time we did fake recursion, where you just loop through the same thing over and over by the go-to statement. In this one, we're actually going to write a method, and it's going to be just like a public set of we're going to have to go outside of the public static void main method because you can't write a method inside of a method. So let's do public static void. Um, actually, let's not do that. Let's just do uh, public void whatever. And, and if you remember how to write a method, you just write public void, name the method, write your parentheses, curly braces, and there you go. Um, next thing we gotta do... Um, hold on, I need to pause this. I think this flashing thing on this new recorder I have is making me lag, so give me a moment. Okay. Yay, these rectangles are not flashing anymore and it's not lagging. Okay, and maybe you can see my mouse now. I think it was hidden before. Um, anyways, so what we're gonna do here is... well, first thing we're gonna do is just call whatever. And what you do is you just write the name of the method semicolon it's just basically gonna call this let's see why is there an error an object reference is required for the non static field oh right public static void that way we can just call it without making an object if I think I explained that already if it's static you can just call it otherwise you actually have to create an object of your re your program class which is a little ridiculous but anyways what we're going to do down here is put a couple spaces and have this do something. And then we're just going to call whatever. And what I actually want to do is so that we can actually tell it's being recurs, like recursed or recurred, I guess is what you would say. Um, I guess that's proper recurred. Um, we're going to make an integer, let's just say, uh, a, whatever, equals zero. And then we're actually going to send a here. Uh, yes, yes, okay. And then in here, it's giving us an error because we're sending down an int that is not actually in here, so we need to create int a. Then we're going to say, um, hmm, a plus plus. Uh, actually, let's print that first. Let me get rid of all these dumb spaces. Okay. Send a again. Okay, a plus plus. Um, console.writeline, I almost did system.out.println. I've been using Java for a couple of days. Um, just do the number is 
plus. There we go. Okay, um, and what this should do is do an infinite loop, and if I let it go for too long, it will crash my computer, but luckily I have 8 gigabytes of RAM, and that won't happen too soon. Okay. <laughs> okay, as you can see, there's the process is terminated due to stack overflow exception. Um, basically, what happened was my int... Uh, there's a stack which is an internalized thing in your computer and it can only hold so many numbers and once it reaches its maximum it has to either dump them out or crash and that's what happened just now. Um, I'm actually going to talk about the stack next time and how it can really screw things up for you if you're not careful. So what we want to do here is say like something like let's tab this over if a is less than 10 or something like that then it should only do this 10 times oh duh okay console dot read line now the reason i'm putting this here is because instead of at after this one is because it's saying int a is 0 whatever is 0 and then you send it through and then if a is less than 10 which it is from 0 through 9 then once it reaches 10 it cuts out of this and goes right back to your main method hold on I'm getting a phone call anyways as I was saying um, I think what I was saying was that it sends in the a and then you go through up until 10 and once it's 10 it cuts out of this and goes back to this and it stops and it actually stopped here before, and so now we're going to read the line. And it should... There we go. The number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Um, this is better than doing a for loop or a while loop or whatever, just because it's easier to write. So... Um, but, again, you just got to be careful. You always need to have a conditional statement, otherwise you're going to be in big trouble. Um, that's pretty much it on recursion. You can do it with a while loop too, but um, I think for the most part you're going to just do it with like a if statement. Um, I, would, I wouldn't really ever see it with a for loop just because that's kind of pointless. Um, it, most of the time if you ever use it, you'll use it with a counter that's internalized in the method or sent in from somewhere else and then you'll just add one to it every time and then call the method itself over and over again. So um, I think that's actually it for this tutorial. Um, there's... it's actually fairly short. Um, lengthened by my rambling at the beginning, but I kinda had to do that. I just felt like it. Um, I will... next time I'll talk about the stack and how that works and everything, and then I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.